Hey everybody, thanks for being here. This week we're fishing out of Holies at Winter Harbor for world class lingcod, halibut, and salmon. Now if you want to learn how to catch more fish, stay tuned. I'm Justin Wolf, and this is Angler West Television. Relaxing, calm, beautiful Winter Harbor, British Columbia. Home to Oldies Fishing Charters and the center of among the best fishing on the West Coast. We're on the far northwest corner of Vancouver Island, just a few miles from the open ocean, which often is calm in summer, but this morning the sky is giving us a friendly warning. Red sky in the morning, just typical sailors saying red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. We, there is a big southeast coming in today, but it seems to be fairly mellow out there right now. We're going to go try and take care of our lingcod while we can, and then hit the salmon later on inside. It's a little rougher out here than we like today, but you know, you're here to fish, so you just come out and do it. And you know, some days are much better than others, but as you can see, they're still biting. It just makes it uh, a, a little more challenging. Oh yeah, that's a good ling. That's a good size ling that we've got this morning. You ready, Jake? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty good quality ling. Um, I'm using a, a new jig with P-line and uh, the Oregon Tackle lead head, but uh, this is a this is squid-like rubber jig and it seemed like it held up quite nice. It didn't tear it up at all. Seems pretty tough and durable. There we are. I just loaded this up with some Gary Plenty tuna on that feline like soft plastic tail and uh, hip on the boom. Another nice fish. Well, now that my dad out fished me, so I just put one of these P line jigs on so I can try and catch up with him. Shoot, it just came off. One thing I did is add an assist hook because these tentacles hang down so far. That way, if they grab these, they're most likely going to get your assist hook too. He's not only catching wing caught, he's P line jigger. Getting the tigers as well. Yeah, first time I've seen one of these from P-Line, new to the market. Very, very strong, very durable. We've caught multiple lings, rockfish, all that. Haven't even lost a tentacle on it. Very excited for it to come to the market and get a bunch of these to use up here in Winter Harbor. Yeah, we got a double header on those P-Line squids here. We just went over a nice school of them. We marked it right away and the other jigs not getting much, but these P-Lines are hitting them hot and heavy, so we should be able to get all our lings here pretty quick, battling through this a bit of a storm. We just put uh, the fish field the assist hooks on and it seems like it's made a difference. Another leg. Okay. He's not happy. Okay. Both fish there on the assist hook, so they're just nipping at the tail maybe, but good thing we got those assist hooks on. We'll make them work and get a few more. Thank you, Lord. Can we please have some more? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Fish up. Come on, Jake, let's get a triple. Triple and we're out of here. I just loaded 
this back up with the anchovy gel. Hit bottom twice and boom. So this jig it is bought in four fish. It's a pretty good shape. It's got a little tear in one of the wings. But you can see with the teeth been eating on them, it's holding up very nice. Welcome back to Winter Harbor. I'm Justin Wolf. The great thing about Winter Harbor is the variety of quality food fish available in the area. It's typical to go home with limits of rockfish, lingcod, halibut, king salmon, and coho salmon. Ole's offers excellent fish processing and freezing, so the fish you take home will be premium quality. Typically, the king salmon fishing kicks off in mid-June, while later in the summer is best for coho as they will be much larger. Early in the season is considered best for lingcod and halibut, although we're here in mid-August and the lingcod and halibut fishing seems very good. Really, the best time to go to Winter Harbor is any time you can. You don't get much leveler. And the tail's kind of touching. You're on 57 right now. 57 right now. I feel like you can even go down that way a little bit more. Even. Our tail's touching too. Go to 58. This morning, we're headed out halibut fishing with Captain Andy. Okay, we're heading our way up north. We got about a 30 mile run to head up to, uh, up by Sartine Island. And we'll be anchoring up for halibut today. We should have a break in the wind. So everything should work out good today. Uh, well, this is a pretty good spot for halibut just because it's all sand gravel. It's actually right on the edge of a closed area and we're drifting off into the deep. So we'll be setting halibut in from probably around 300, 350 feet. And this is basically a great big feeding ground about the size of a football field for halibut. Okay, so today we're rigging up for halibut. We're gonna be using a little bit of uh, salmon belly from the other day. And we're gonna be putting the pro cure onto our skirts this morning. The pro cure actually hangs on there really well and it'll be on there for a good few hours to keep the oil going. We have a herring on the other side that's been injected with a little bit of the uh, butt juice oil, which is nice. And I'll show you another rig here in a second. This one's gonna go down nice and slow. Down. Yeah. Yep. All right, so our next rig we're gonna run is one of those uh, spinning glows. And they seem to work really good for halibut. They like to twist and spin in the current. And it actually is a very good attractant for the halibut as well as the salmon bellies. So we'll put on a nice big belly. And then we're gonna go for some nice fresh herring. And on, on the herring, I love using the butt juice, the uh, oil. I actually put it into the gills, which holds really well. And now that bait's gonna be ready to catch a nice halibut on. And you wanna reel that one up, three reels up off the bottom. So today we're gonna be using one of the new uh, P-Line squid for uh, halibut. I haven't actually used one of these yet, but it looks like it's actually going to be really good with the dangly legs on there. And we'll be running a smaller piece of belly on this one, as well as a herring. And then we're actually going to try to run a camera off the spreader bar to see if we can see what this does underwater, which will be really cool. That'll be okay. So this here, we actually have some garlic bloody tuna gel that I'm going to be rubbing on top of that uh, squid by P-Line. As you can see, it's very sticky, sticks all over that. Okay, so now that we're all rigged up, we got our camera going. We have the, the light on the end of the camera. We just turned it on and we're about to send it down to 200 feet and see what happens.
So this is a leftover coho frame. We took the fillets off of yesterday and we're gonna fly it and see if we can get a big halibut on that. And on this one, we'll definitely be using the butt juice, oil. Get a good oil slick coming off this. Track those halibut from a long ways away. Well, that should grab that fresh bait very quickly. Done. Oh yeah. Go over to you, Eddie. You see the white of his eyes. Kill it. Got it. Yeah. Is it just then? All right. Here comes our first salvo of the day. I thought it snagged on the bottom. Whatever works. So that was a lot different hit. I'm not sure, but I think that one might end up being a big lingcod. It was kind of hung up on the rocks there and then it started taking line on us. Lingcod. Yeah. Thanks for the link card for the box. We are halibut fishing out of Oli's Fishing Charters in Winter Harbor, and we have our first fish in the boat. We're soaking a pea line halibut rig under a Go Fish Cam underwater camera and getting bit by lots of fish, including big halibut. That's going to be a good one. Whoa, it's taking line! <laughs> Fantastic. What's the time is? Hold on, turn the camera on the table. Oh, it's a bouncer. Hold on, my friend. I'm doing everything I can. It's a bouncer. <laughs> Right, we've been working on. So we've been waiting for about 45 minutes for our tide to start picking up and now we're just starting a strong flood. So our gear's starting to lay out behind the boat a little bit and the halibut are starting to get lured in. We got our second one on in about 15 minutes now. Team Wojo. And this one looks like a much bigger fish. Hopefully around 60, 70 pounds. So I'm going to take this for a minute and go around the back of the boat. I think I'll let you. Okay, you got a heads up. Can you help me? Mm, no, I just got to clear the motors. You should have seen it the other day. We got one that was about 100 pounds. And it took off and ran up to the surface. There we go. See in color? Um, no. <laughs> Not yet. I've been coming up here eight years. And Every year it gets a little bit harder to do, but it's just as much fun. And I'm working it really well here, at least I hope. Andy's been my our guy for six years and never ever disappointed us. We live every year to come up for this. Father, son. Should be seeing them here any minute. I got me a fish. <laughs> All right, we got to get this one. It's getting close to the boat now. I'm guessing within about 40 feet. Within a minute, we'll see it. <laughs> Starting <No pressure>. now. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this year our limit on halibut, you're either allowed one of two choices. You're allowed two halibut that are under 93 centimeters, or this year they actually increased our big halibut to 126 centimeters from head to tail. And give or take, that's around a 60 to an 80 pound fish. So we're hoping this one's gonna be right in that slot size. Sprint to the finish. <coughs> Come on. 
Oh, that's huge. It's off my nice hole, but. A valiant fight, <laughs> but we won in the end. Amen. Thank you. enjoying this year's episode from Winter Harbor where we're fishing out of Oli's. Now this year there were two key baits that really helped us catch most of our fish. First, high quality hoochies like these fish field hoochies are an absolute must for salmon at Winter Harbor. And also the new P-Line Twin Tail Squid Skirts. These things are tough and durable and the fish just eat them up. We fished them on Oregon Tackle Leadheads and caught almost all of our fish on these baits. I was very impressed with these. They come in three different sizes, four inch, seven inch, and nine inch and a variety of colors, and some of them glow in the dark. Now for those of you that might be planning a trip to Winter Harbor, I've just put up a video on YouTube that goes into some detail on the process of getting to Winter Harbor, on driving to Winter Harbor. It should be very helpful to you. So please go to the Angler West YouTube channel and check that out. And while you're there, go ahead and subscribe. Now let's go back to Winter Harbor and see if we can't catch some more fish. Welcome back to Winter Harbor. I'm Justin Wolf. We've had a productive trip so far, but we still have a little work to do to fill our limits. While others might be heading out to fill limits of Lincoln or Halibut, our fishing today focuses on salmon. Come on. The open ocean can be fantastic for salmon, but sometimes the best fishing is closer to home. We're with Oli on the roller, targeting salmon inside Quatsino Sound. Yeah, we're just fishing the mouth of Quatsino Sound. As you can see, still a little sloppy in here, but definitely a lot calmer than offshore. And we're just targeting all these local fish hitting local rivers on Vancouver Island, north end of the island here. Chinook and coho and fishing tight to the beach. And uh, yeah, should be a good morning. Oh, well, that's a big one. Yeah, you just let him, when he's pulling, you let him take line. Let him take line. He hammered that, didn't he? Yeah, he did. There he is. If he swims, you can keep bringing him that way if he wants to go around. Okay. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. Beauty. Nice one. Yeah. Way to go, Brian. For Canadian King, right yeah, there. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. Nicely hooked right through the corner and. On the hoochie. I see we hoochie hoochie on my boat. Yeah, we're going to. We got them both up. We're gonna get this gear down right away. We'll take a picture and get back rolling. Hey boys. Oh, there, 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 there you go. There you go. Back that drag there you go. Bit, Steve. Just loosen her off. off a little. Good, good job. Well, that's a good fish. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I mean, <Nice. laughs> I think this one's got a seal on it. Yeah. They peel off a lot of line. It's definitely a, it's definitely a Chinook. Hopefully, it's a 30 pounder. Uh, biggest fish this year was day one, June 14th, 47 pound Chinook. Uh, lots in the 30s. Some big fish coming in right now. Lots of mid 20s to to low 30s, these local fish. Nice one, Steve. I guess I like the boat. I like them when they do that. Hey, no nice. 
You can see they're starting to turn a little bit, so these are more than likely our Marble River fish heading up the inlet here about 20, 30 miles. Hey, this morning we're out here, we've got two rods out, we've got a spoon on one side and a hoochie on the other. So far the hoochie's got both, both fish. And uh, the white seems to be working first thing in the morning of the glows. Always the best way to go. Double. Double. Yep, coho. Nice coho. That's a that's a bigger one though. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. No, we're not right now. We're gonna zigzagging through the kelp. Oh. He's off now. Dang it. Tough with that kelp. I hate it when that happens. So we're going to try some bait fishing. I'm going to jack these up with a little bit of squid oil on one and the garlic buddy tuna on the other. All I'll do is I'll go through the thick part of the cut. The meat. And fill that cavity I just created. I'll put a little bit inside the cavity of it and then just a thin bead on the outside. We're gonna run both rods, same setup, just because we got a slow rate down, as slow as the boat will go. So we'll get a couple of them ready and get them down there and see what happens. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. You know, without the support of the sponsors, there would be no show. So please thank them when you can. Now, get out there and do some great fishing. <laughs>